Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we are looking at the concept of total cost of ownership, TCO. So what is the difference between on-premise, so having your own data centers, and then using Azure? And you'll notice above it, it says CAPEX and OPEX. We're going to talk about that in the next slide. Uh, but for the, time, or for the time being, we're going to focus on the total cost of ownership. So to really make sense of this, uh, I always use this graphic here. Uh, and if you're wondering what that is, those are icebergs. People sometimes think they look like teeth. And so just to make this drawing a little bit more clear, I've added some penguins and a whale, so there's no mistaking it. And the reason we're using this as a representation is because we have the top of the iceberg, which are the costs that we're generally concerned about, but then we have those hidden costs, those costs that we're not really thinking about that is underneath the water. And if you know icebergs, they can be really big underneath. You don't know. So um, on the left-hand side, the cost that we generally think of is the software license fees. Uh, and then uh, for the cloud service provider, we look at the subscription fees. And so when you're comparing these two, sometimes the subscription fees can cost more than the software license fees. So you'd think, well, we should really just use uh, um, on-prem because it's more cost effective. But when we take in the total cost of ownership, all the costs involved, we're going to see a very different picture. So on the left-hand side, if you uh, are on-premise, you have to deal with the implementation, the configuration, and the training. But you also have to deal with the physical security of your building. You have to pay for the hardware. You have to pay for the IT personnel. You have to uh, deal with maintenance. Now, on the right-hand side, on the cloud, you still have to do implementation and configuration and training, but that's about it. So um, there's a big difference in terms of what you have to do. And you might ask, okay, well, what is the amount of savings? Well, generally, people find that when they move from on-prem to the cloud, they save 75%. That's a lot of money, okay? 75% of what you generally would spend. And so now all this stuff on the left-hand side is now Azure's responsibility. You don't take care of those anymore. Azure's gonna take care of it for you. So that's total cost of ownership.